uh, in Microsoft Teams is what I want to focus on because I can go over how to create a form from here now and, and such, but I think the best way to use a form, not personal, but to use it as part of a team uh, because this way it's not lost if the users left the company. It's not gone if others can actually edit the form and modify it and see the results once you create it within a uh, team. So if I have a leadership team, let, let's say, and we're going to call we're going to go to this um, resources one. And I'm going to click on the plus sign. And I can add the tab that tab. You will see a bunch of applications. You can add forms is one of them. There are admins that disable this feature, but Forms is a Microsoft application, so if third party apps are blocked, uh, this should still be visible because it's part of the Microsoft applications. Uh, you select that one and it's going to ask you, do you want to create a new form or do you want to add an existing form? So, so for everyone that may have just gotten a little, I don't want to say overwhelmed there, but what Kamal just did there, adding an app to Teams, that is an incredibly powerful thing that is very easy to use. The first time you see it, it's like, wait, what just happened? But when you add a tab, either there or on the left hand side, now you have access to a whole nother app right there within your Teams dashboard. So Teams now, instead of just a chat messaging application, becomes a dashboard. It becomes an aggregate of all of your applications you use on a daily basis. For instance, we use a lot of apps like Vacation Tracker and things that our employees use rather than having to log in some other browser. It's all within Teams. Now that sounds complicated, but it's really not and it's really helpful. And so that's what Kamal is showing here is just integrating a form right into a current Teams channel that he has. Exactly, and if you don't want to go to that where I showed you forms is, you can add it on the left hand side as a uh, an app within your Microsoft Teams. And if I do that, actually, I don't mind doing it. Then on the I can add it as an application, and now all the forms that I have, even my personal forms, will be visible within um, Microsoft Teams. So if I go back to Teams here and I add it as a tab within one of my channels, then I have again one of those options to either create a new one or add an existing form. Adding an existing form, you can use some of the ones you personally have and maybe you worked on one initially and then now you're ready to share it with your team. Uh, you can do it this way and then it will automatically be shared with the team members. Uh, it allows you to select the options. Do you just want to share the results or do you want to collect responses from the team? The create and share one is usually the preferred option to start from Microsoft Teams creating the form if you run it, if you want to share it for, with other team members. So I'm going to call it on onboarding resources since this is resource tab. Uh, post the channel, that's fine. Uh, and it's going to create that survey where you can start adding questions like I showed you earlier. 